now we come to the big piece of resistance. A sketch with Dorothy Lamour, Robert Benchley, and Bing Crosby. A man who ain't the father of his country, but you certainly got to give him credit for trying. See you later. It's Crosby's house, all right. Good evening, I'm Mr. Benchley. Oh, of course. Come right in, Mr. Bensley. It was awfully nice of you to come over this evening and look after the children. Oh, anything for Bing. How are things here in Boys Town? Quite interesting. That's what I was afraid of. Well, Mr. Crosby told me that if I ever needed any help, I could always count on Uncle Robert. Well, he was so right. That's what Uncle Robert is for. You're here to look after the children, remember? Oh, am I? Well, I don't get along any too well with children, but I know Bing's are different. Well, that's one way of putting it. Anyway, I'll be back in a half hour and if anything should happen, there's iodine and bandages in the closet. It's fine. Good to know. What if this is a kid's room? Hey, that's the powder room, Bob. Oh, is it? Where's the kid's room? In there. Oh, thanks. Hey, did you speak to me? Are you crazy? Who ever heard of a picture talking? I guess you're right. I said you struck out. Oh, go on. I only took a half a swing. Half a swing, nothing. You're out. Yeah, you're out. I'm not out, and I'm not going to give out the bat. You know the rules arguing about a decision. Now go sit in the corner. Yeah. How come I always have to sit in the corner? I'm going to ask Pop to change the rules. Oh, oh go on. Don't push me around. Come, 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 come. What goes on here, anyway? Oh, 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 oh. Seems to be the trouble, my good man. We were playing one old cat. And he struck out, wouldn't give up the bat. If Pop says anybody who protects the decision has to go sit in the corner. Well, well, why don't we settle the whole thing by having Uncle Robert tell you a story, huh? It's kind of a story, Uncle Robert. Well, let's see. What about a Horatio Alger success story about the rise of Frank Sinatra? Now, see here, Uncle Robert. That's one name we don't mention around here. <laughs> well, I see your point. Well, then, what about the story of your dad's life? Hot dog! Okay. Now, this is the house in which Bing Crosby was born. What a thrill for the young mother as she tenderly pulled back the covers, saw her baby for the first time, and said, <coughs> This is the little red schoolhouse where little Bing Crosby first went to school. Who threw that? I did, teacher. Just for that, Harry Crosby, you're going to stay all alone with me after school for one hour. Make it two hours, that huh, teacher? Why, Bing. Traitor. You see, it didn't take little Bing Crosby long to learn <laughs> that teacher is the best experience. I mean, I mean experience is the best teacher. <laughs> well, kid, little Bing Crosby started to grow up. And as with most growing children, he had an insatiable curiosity. But luckily, he always had his father to turn to. Papa, who discovered America? Eh... Uh, I'm afraid I couldn't exactly say, son. Who was our first president? Eh... Uh, uh, well, now I don't know. How many states in the Union, Papa? No, I'm not quite certain about that. Papa, do I ask too many questions? Not at all. You don't ask questions, how can you ever learn anything? Mm -hmm. Didn't Pop ever go to high school? Well, he certainly did. And what a cut-up he was. 
I'll never forget the outfit he put on one Halloween. <laughs> He's been dressing the same way ever since. Didn't it scare away all the girls? Au contraire, the girls were all crazy about him. But you can hardly blame them. Bing Crosby was known far and wide as the biggest spender in town. Why, when he took a girl out... The usual. Beg it for two. Harry, are you sure you can afford it? Nothing's too good for my girl. Cheap, wasn't he? Yeah, and that was even before he met Bob Hope. <laughs> well, it really didn't matter, though. Even in those days, when it came to women, he had the Crosby technique. What does that mean? Well, it means that when Bing Crosby sat on a girl's porch, he made love as only Bing Crosby could make love. Harry. Hmm? Huh? Do you think you could ever love me? I don't know. How fast can you run a mile? to college, too, didn't he? That very year. In fact, that fall, there came to Gonzaga College Bing Crosby, a scholar and a gentleman. Three fine fellows. <laughs> oh, you should have seen Bing during his college career. The first year, I'm a freshman. The second year, I'm a sophomore. The third year, I'm a sophomore. The fourth year, I'm a sophomore. The fifth year, I am a freshman again. Well, three years passed, but Bing didn't. So he hopped on a train and went to New York, determined to make good as a singer. New York was taken by storm. But Bing was determined. He worked hard, became one of the rhythm boys. Went to Chicago. Chicago was taken by storm. His rise was meteoric. Got his first break, a motion picture contract. Bing arrived in Hollywood. California was taken by storm. I said California was taken by storm. Oh, well, you know California. See what I mean? From then on, his success was a legend. Song after song, picture after picture. Bing made Hollywood history. And then came Going My Way, Bing's biggest success, Swinging on a Star. <laughs> 